In this video we're going to differentiate brackets. If you watch the two videos on the chain rule you'll already know what to do. This is really just a special case of using the chain rule and using the shortcut that I used in video 2. So what are the steps we have to go through when we want to differentiate a bracket? The first thing we do is we multiply by the power. So here we've got a in front of the whole expression. The next thing we do is take 1 away from that power. And finally, we multiply the re result by the inner part of the bracket differentiated. So let's look at two examples. In this first one, we're going to have to multiply by 5. Then the inside of the bracket stays the same. We're going to take 1 away from 5 to make the power 4 and then we're going to multiply the result by the inside of that bracket differentiated which is 8x plus 7. So there we go. We've got the 5, the bracket, the power dropped by 1 and then we've multiplied by the inner bracket differentiated. This next example slightly more complicated but only because we've changed the powers. So we're going to multiply by a third we're going to keep the bracket the same. We're going to take 1 away from a third to give us minus 2 thirds. And then we're going to multiply by the inner bracket differentiated, which is going to be 35x to the 6. And then it's going to be plus 2x to the minus 2. And there we have exactly what we predicted. A third multiplied by the bracket not changed. Take away 1 from that power to make it minus 2 thirds multiplied by the inner bracket differentiated. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.